Hello, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well, having a great day or a great night. And so let's get started. Uh, as you guys heard, Brad Garlinghouse talking about on the TV a few days ago. And so uh, by the end, it was asked to him about XRP ETF, and he said 2025. So it's next year. We are very, very close. But this it is not the important thing, the public information. At some point, we all know that XRP ETF, it is going to happen, just like many other assets. So there is no news about it. The news is that I strongly believe that these, all these ETFs are a tool to short, not the tool to pump. As you guys see, uh, we have some ETFs already and things are still getting ready to go, okay? So again, the whole point of this video is to highlight the very beginning and let's say the end of this cycle because the, again, these ETFs are, in my opinion, uh, to get ready or to prepare for the downside. So those big guys, the smart money, uh, will make money. They will profit from what's coming. So, folks, you won't be able to see me today. I, may, I am in a rush, rush here. So, I I came in a hurry to, to record this video. I'm still using my pajamas. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's get started. When I talk about the beginning, it always starts with this. Probably most of you guys that are following me for some time remember this video. I am, or let's say back in the day, I was the first, the first one in the internet to be talking about 2025. And some people called me crazy. It was four years ago, and we are just a few months from 2025. So this is all about the macro work we've been doing or, you know, our strategy, our goals, and we are coming very, very close to it. I strongly believe that this video will become like a big reference, you know, a turning point into knowledge, you know, the everything that we achieved, that we done, all the research, the work, the pain we endure through all this time. But uh, yeah, we are getting close. And remember, if you haven't watched this video, please rush to. If you have some friends that haven't, please share with them. Because these folks can change and will change lives. I'm not joking. This is serious. Uh, another thing. So the usual number of views I have on uh, XRP videos is around uh, uh, 3,000 you know, 3,500, so it's not a big deal. But when I make a different video, for example, the last one, talking about 2025, part of the strategy, what we've been waiting for, you know, what we're expecting, and uh, it only get like 1,000, 1,500 views, which means around the... Uh, 35, 40% of people that follow me or that are watching my videos uh, only care about the thing that is coming. The other part, it seems they really don't care or aren't concerned, okay? And I will tell you, folks, all of you that are concerned, you are going to be ahead, you know? If it is in your strategy, if it is in your approach, your goals, you know, uh, living before the markets crash, you will be ahead, okay? You are paving the way. But those who aren't, they will probably be catch by surprise, okay? So, uh, the news about the ETF, so I just picked this one for you guys to, to see, you know, that I'm not making this up. Brad Garlinghouse really talking about the ETF on uh, 2025. So this year it is not going to happen. It's it's highly, highly unlikely. So uh, some people were talking about June, July, and uh, 
let me explain you something that is very, very important. You guys remember, back in 2019, we had bearish development for Bitcoin. I shared everything, I made a video, I shared it on Twitter, I explained it to everybody that this too was created in advance to short Bitcoin before the fall. And how I remember, I remember by two reasons. First, I was trading. Second, because I made a forecast in advance that things would crash worldwide. And I was right. I, I still remember I shared the chart on Twitter with like multiple charts from all the top, the major uh, uh, exchanges, you know, like Dow Jones, Shanghai Index, so on and on. And all of them was in a big red. It was September, you guys probably remember. <clears throat> and uh, so this too was created indeed to first, to first, let people jump in advance, being able to short, take profits before they could load up for the run, because we knew what was going to happen. The smart money knew as well. So again, this is a tool for the smart money. And, uh, and so Bitcoin dropped, had a big drop, then went up a little bit. And then we had the, you guys remember, C19 crash. Okay, but again, didn't change the trend. Okay, so the key thing here is the tool came in advance before the event. That's how it is. Okay, the point of this is a lot of people were talking about this was bullish, that Bitcoin was going to new highs, that this is it, we are ready. You know, I'm going to eat my shoes if Bitcoin just don't go. You guys remember all the talk and the bullishness, so on and on and on. So, almost always, like 93, 94% of the time, what the average Joe says, it's wrong. You know, for example, there is the, that guy, the Mr. Buffoon that you guys know. So, last time he said that Dow Jones was ready for a crash, Dow Jones went for new highs. And I said, Dow Jones, it's going down, but this, it's not bearishness, it's bullishness. And we were right. And we, right now we have new all-time highs, right? So, the public opinion, we can, we, we that read, that study, that uh, do our job, we understand that that is a contrarian indicator, okay? So, having all this in mind, Let's draw a line on XRP chart. Let's go into the weekly. And we can even draw multiple lines. Let me see if the weekly is enough. Okay, so let's start with June 2025. Then let's go to, okay, so let, let's use the season pivots, right? So summer, autumn, 21, okay, 23, fair enough. And then the winter pivots. Okay, right here. So let's add the color. Uh, so the summer, let's go for the red. Here we are going to use gold and here the blue. Okay, perfect, perfect. So Brad Garlinghouse said 2025. So now let's do some math. Let's check some, some dates, okay? Let's do a study. <clears throat> We understand that a run usually lasts for a minimum of 12 months, okay? So this is the average. So it's not expectation, it, it is a fact, okay? Uh, the longer we see a run to, to take place was like 16, 17 months, 
okay i really really don't expect it to happen this long so i am considering 12 11 months just for you guys to have an idea back in 2017 this xrp run took exactly 11 months to happen less than a year or let's say one year it was very insane powerful and now we have consolidation so we already talked about this this is bullish continuation xrp will go unless something out of the blue out of the box happens something that we can see but the chart tells this is bullish and we can expect a bullish continuation from this kind of structure so let's try to oops 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 there is something wrong here i went to 2026 forgive me all right here please forgive me okay much better now and then we have let's add the spring as well uh it's green yes okay beautiful so if a run usually lasts for a minimum of 12 months what we could expect let's draw lines uh we are right here so let's say it starts in june and it will go to June, June as well. So this is how long it could last. Just an idea, okay? So we are playing with uh, dates and numbers. Here I will draw my target that you guys are aware, maybe $34, maybe. Here it is, 34. So just for the speculation on a wild run, that could last 12 months, okay? Um, so, we uh, not long ago, we talked about the structure that's looking great, that we are expecting the trial to end and the Fed to pivot, things will continue to go up. One of the reasons it's because of inflation. When we have inflation, usually the stock markets rally, you know, the, everything goes up. So people won't let their money into the bank losing value. Okay. That's why the economy keeps hitting. Okay. So all those things we are already talking about. I'll probably like nobody out there. You know, you guys know I'm recording all aspects possible of XRP for how long? Six years, almost six years covering XRP and all the possible aspects. So uh, let's say just for the, the, the sake of this example that uh, we are going to see the run this month. Okay. And that is going to last 12 months, just for the sake of this example. We still don't know exactly when things are going to crash. But what Brad said, it's a very, very important clue. It doesn't, it, it, maybe it is not something that you can say, well, I don't think it is important. It's not enough clue. Well, for my opinion, folks, it is because XRPTF can be the, the last or also the most important ETF on the crypto world to arrive, you know, and as later as it arrives, it's more dangerous, you know. So 12 months run, if my target is right, then we are going to see a uh, 34, 34, the percentage is right, 6,635, that's right, I don't think so. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. 
that's 6,635 and 79 so it's not a million uh, forgive me folks we use a uh, a different rule for the last dot here it, it is not a dot okay so just a, a grammar thing so let's say we do understand that september it's a very important time frame for events and i do remember because i did my research back in the day i shared it with you guys that uh, the highest number of crashes or getting ready before a crash usually happens around September, okay? So the harvest season, you know, the old uh, society, way to the things, you know, unseen knowledge, all these things. So if this thing, then you may ask, well, 12 from now, it's June, it's not September. That's correct. So here is the thing. We do understand that things when they are about to go up, they develop something. So for example, like XRP right now. Okay. We already talked about this. You guys are familiar with this. There is nothing new. So when things are bullish, they develop a structure then we, we, we can anticipate what is going to happen most of the times and especially when it, it, it is clear. But uh, it takes some time to develop a top and to develop a bottom, okay? So for example here, it took three years, more than three years to develop this structure that it was completely alpha. But again, it was bullish, okay? So let's say three and a half, four years, four years development for one year run, okay? Now we have almost six years development for the one year run, maybe, probably. This, this yet, it's not very important. But the thing is, if we do look here, inside these two candles here in smaller time frames we will see there is bearish development here so let's see if we can do that let's check the date uh, it's january 18. let's go so it's um 2018 0101 go to Okay, so this is the downfall of XRP. Let's take a look on the structures. Here we had the top with a golden rejection, flatness with a bridge, and then multiple bridges. Okay, so let's draw first Fibonacci, pivot from pivot. As I told you, golden rejection. So this is not the pivot. This is in between. This is the pivot. And this, this other guy right here. So we had one, two, three golden rejections. Bearishness. Okay, not bullishness. Then we had a flat structure with a bridge. And then multiple bearish signs one after the other. For example, here kind of a flag developing bearishness then a big uh, comeback because xrp was in oversold territory so it, it cannot drop forever it has to make uh, some brief stops then what we had let's take a look here from pivot to pivot flatness on the golden range which is bearishness it's not bullishness trading inside completely bearish so we also can consider this as a golden rejection multiple ones and then losing the floor always one after the other always 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 then the rest of the story you guys are familiar with okay 
So now let's take a look how long it took the, to develop, oh, not to mention the head and shoulders, which is a top reversal structure uh, with signals that it came, this run came to an end. So that's why structures are always important. Let's take a look on the target if this played well. I mean, if it was completely accurate, and yes, it was, not 100% in between, yeah, so, there was evidence, now let's take a look how long it lasted, uh, let me see, it's from this guy right here, and the break right here on the right shoulder. So it lasted for 11 days only. So it wasn't like a big deal, but 11 days. It's close to half, half a month, right? So this was very fast. This was brutal. 11 days, it's Fox from 3 and 30 to 1 and 55. I still remember the terror of people, you know, some people getting worried. Oh, it's coming back. You know, crypto will make a comeback, and then the horror. So now let's get back to where we was. We were, sorry. My English is not, I mean, it's improving yet. It's not three days, it's the weekly. So, uh, one thing that I want to, <clears throat> to highlight here is, just because the last one happened in 11 days, it doesn't mean the next one will also take 11 days. If you do consider Bitcoin uh, bearishness before the bottom, it, it lasted like one year to develop the bearish structure before uh, going to 3000 the first time. So we don't know how long this top will last and where it is going to be so we have a clue right so working with what we do know so let's say just for the sake of this example that xrp top is going to be at 34 dollars okay just for the sake of this example and let's say that the etf will come in june Also, let's consider September. So here we have uh, just a moment. It's uh, in the bottom on the right. It's a summer. And here we have autumn. Oops, 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 just a second, bottom right, okay, so if, uh, let's say, we reach the top by the summer, then it is going to be uh, July, August, September, it would be 90 days, 90 days before uh, September, and let's just speculate that the the ETF can arrive right here on the summer because I don't think it is going to arrive by the spring just a thought okay it is possible yes it is possible but but again 2025 it's a year uh, it's a yellow light it's to be cautious you know uh greed it is going to punish people we do know that things are not looking good at all so we're talking about this and also re again i really really recommend the sun cycle against markets video because you will have a much better background to fully understand what we are talking about here okay so we we have a solid background for everything that we are talking so it's not just a uh, yesterday news to make this study okay 
So if, if, uh, so in between, we, we also have the Fed pivot, okay? So let's say it is going to last 12 months. So it would end on June 2025. And if the Fed says, okay, this is it, you know, uh, inflation is out of control. We have to get back to raise rates and we are going to raise more than before. So it's not going to be 5%. It's going to be way, way more aggressive. Then things will start to collapse, no matter what. So how long the global economy can survive low interest rates in a scenario of inflation? That's, that's a tough question. 12, 15, 18, we don't know yet. But as soon as we keep going, we will have a much, much better idea. So it's, a, it's the kind of scenario that we are working with incomplete information, but we are talking about future events. So we don't have to make a decision right now. So we're not talking about tomorrow, next week, next month. As things keep going, we are one step ahead to the break. And then you may ask, well, how do we, we are going to know when the break will be? So we can be out. That's when we are going to be studying and doing our work into structures, the market behavior, news about inflation, news about central banks around the world, you know, global economy, all the uh, fundamentals and external events. First, we add two structures, behavior, and then we figure out, we make a call. That, that's it. That's the plan. That's what we are working to do, to be able to make the best uh, to make the best move at the right time and that's it out you know uh, some people were asking when I am going to leave folks it, it is going to be it's almost impossible to nail a top and a bottom okay uh, some of you may say that is a uh, kind of word for me to say this and I will tell you no it is not because I did it twice in the dollar uh, when the bottom was at 89 and I said it is not going to break this is the bottom now it's that's it now we go and I almost nailed the target as well it was just a few points away from my target it was there so the last two I made it twice on the same asset it's kind of uh it's a thing you know it's it's not lucky otherwise it would be impossible to make it twice and uh also when i call it the crash on 20 uh 2020 you guys remember i shared everything still have everything documented so i did it a few times okay i'm not saying i'm going to do again no that's not the point that that's not important it would be great, yes, but that's not how we are working here. Again, information, fundamentals, events, structures, chart analysis, how it is look like, how much time uh, it's been passed, and then we will figure out. So the idea is to leave before the top because we don't know most likely where the top will be. So that's the easy way, because otherwise you can be in that range of people who were into the 3 and 30 and 1 and 50. It's, it's a big gap, right? So uh, that's my strategy, to live before the top, okay? So if the ETF comes in the summer, it would be like, uh, again, July, August, 60. 90 days before the autumn, uh, presuming that the crash will be on September, which I, I think there is pretty high chances. It, it is going to be a, in, in red territory, if I can say, okay? But uh, even if, let's say it comes after June, let's say August or July, 60 days, a top development, it, it is nothing, it can happen, most likely it can. But again, we will also see clues on Dow Jones, you know, uh, and across multiple indexes around the world, especially on the dollar. 
because the dollar and bonds are going to develop a bottom as the indexes will develop a top reversal structure. So there is a lot of clues, there is a lot of information we can get, and I strongly believe that after all the hard work be, we've been doing, I believe we will be able to make the right choice and benefit from it big time. Okay, so uh, I believe that at this moment, this is the best thing we can have to work out. Okay, so again, just for the sake of this example, the square is for a big run, a fast run. Okay, of course, it can last uh, 50 months. Yes, it can. That, so that, that, that's not the point yet. Soon we will have better clues. Then it is going to tell if it's 12, 15, but I, I highly doubt that it's going to be more than 15. Okay, uh, I will keep you guys updated. And um, for the sake of this example, let's draw a box for the possibility of a top development structure, a time frame. So right here. It's, it's very small. Yeah, so just like, like we saw here on XRP, it was only 11 days. And here we are considering 30, 60, almost 90 days. So it's, it's three months, folks. But into the, the square range, it's, it's almost nothing, right? But again, if, if, if things are about to crash in December, which I, I think it is not, but it's possible, then this is what we are going to work, okay? So, what I'm trying to share with you folks is just a way to see how I see, okay? Uh, a model that we can work, that we can speculate for now, uh, because we, we even don't have yet the Fed pivot, which is the piece, the most important piece for everybody around the world at this moment. Okay, so we are ahead. We are the ones that come first. That they're the, the old saying. The first to enter is the first to leave. The last to enter is the last to leave. Okay, so we want to be in the right wing. The, the, the first opportunity, the, the, you know, uh, to make the best out of it. And uh, we need to see, we need to study, we, we have to, to work hard in order to be able to be the first to leave, okay? So uh, I really would like you guys to print this and work with this, okay? Uh, I am 99% sure that this ETF, XRP ETF, is a means for the smart money to short XRP because again, by the time XRP is at is that it's all new all-time high. People all over the internet will be claiming that the ETF will pump XRP to $500, $1,000, no matter what. And I strongly believe that is not going to happen. Again, this is only my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys know that I share what I see based on the knowledge that I have. And I've been doing this for almost almost no, it's seven years. I started on June uh, 2017 with one year background study before doing anything. So it's almost eight years. <clears throat> and uh, we accomplished so much so far. And this is the, the most important job work that we have at this very moment, okay? So please print this. Let's use this for a model. This is unique. Nobody out there have this yet. Okay, so let's work with this. Uh, let me clean the chart. Let's take a quick look on what is going on. I will give you another highlight of what is going on right now. Okay, so this XRP, I, I saw a guy who said that this was bearish. He basically said this. 
around here, if I'm not wrong. Like uh, XRP was to break and go back all the way down. Let's see the target, what the target will be. So he basically said that XRP would go down close to 38 cents. And I said, this is wrong. And here is, here is why. We saw the same kind of structure in Bitcoin back in 2020. Yes, it was September. Bitcoin made this exact same structure. Oops. Right here. We didn't have this one, which was confusing to me because we do understand, we learned that the crypto market keeps coming back into previous bodies, empty bodies. Okay. But this. It's overextended. It's looking bullish, just like Bitcoin back in the day. And in my opinion, it's a bullish structure and it is chasing an event. This event could be uh, the trial to end, be over, or the Fed pivot itself. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, Let's say if XRP was to go down, it would be something like this. To then come back just like back in the day. Okay, so it wouldn't make a lot of sense, but it's still, it's still possible, but highly unlikely. We don't have a clue. And right now, what do we have? It's bullishness. Just like on the bigger picture. Pivots, 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 pivots. All the pivots we can measure. So this is all the pivots we can measure at this moment. And it's looking great. There's aggression. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's above 50% here, which is looking good. And this is consolidation. So a big move has to happen soon. In two time frames, one in the short and one in the macro. And I'm going to prove to you why. Nothing can keep can keep sideways sideways forever. This will never happen. And it's one of the rules we can say it's a it's a hundred percent sure in the markets. Uh, what is oh this one right here? So right now XRP volatility is that it's all time low okay so which means a big move a monster move it is going to happen very very soon okay again nothing can reach zero or a flat line when it comes to consolidation and when we look into smaller time frames we probably can see the same thing yes almost a flat line there is no such thing into, into the charts. This one here as well. It keeps decreasing and decreasing and decreasing and decreasing to the blast. Okay. So we are very, very close, folks. We are almost there. I know that there is some people who are scared, who are in doubt. And uh, we don't know, it's wrong trying to time the market. But what we can do, and it's right, is to have an idea when we are close and when we are far away. And based on all the evidence, we can say, it's not just me, but we can say that we are very, very close, almost at the door. Okay. Uh, just again, one more time for you guys to see. It's a different scenario compared to 2017 because it never plays out in the same way. Okay. I mean, bullish breaks, continuation, consolidation. It's every time different from the previous one. This is the pivot that we already talked about that is in between and doesn't make sense because it's it's uh, 
it's 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 hard to read the pivots that are in between because any small move can print another pivot and makes things things harder uh, to read. Okay, so at this moment, and I am going to to use the dashed line. Okay, in between, not a big deal. So the ones that really matter here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, are the the big ones? This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. This, those are solid pivots that are unlikely to be changed. Okay, and again, six years consolidation. Six years. It's more than enough before continuation. Okay, so back in the day, okay, we had a. Uh, Almost four years, right? So, yeah, 2013. Yeah, almost four years. Now we have six years. And uh, again, this is what we have. It's solid because it's, uh, it's six years old structure, right? It is bullish. It is a continuation structure, a bullish continuation structure. We can read this into multiple ways. Let's go right here. If this wasn't bullish at all, or if we had a doubt, we would be able to read it. We would have evidence. But again, folks, it is not. Okay. So again, it's a bullish triangle. It is not symmetrical. It's looking good. Yes. But today, this moment, it doesn't look ready. So I'm, I'm using a monthly chart and talking about today. Okay. And again, if we jump into smaller time frames again, just for the sake of this example, because I talked about two time frames. Okay. So this is one. This is about this, okay, this one. And the other is about the bigger, bigger picture. So we just did the thing here, but uh, let's, time, let's use uh, Fibonacci, always Fibonacci. Okay, so, and here we can see the bullish evidence for this structure right here. So we have, uh, we have aggressive touches close to previous highs, which is strong lower highs, okay? This one wasn't so strong, but it still is. It's bullish. And we are keeping activity closer to the top, not closer to the bottom. And, um, and also, we don't have flatness on the bottom. You may say, well, this is flatness to me. But there is a problem. I can draw a bullish line here from pivot to pivot. It's still bullish. Yes, so it's probably not bearish. Now let's go for another one. If I do this from one pivot to the other, it's looking bearish, not bearish at all. So right here, we don't have bearish evidence. What we do see, it's a straight consolidation going through the honey spot, the magic square. So this is something that you guys, uh, if you join the Champions Club, so this is the, the method that I developed that is unique. Nobody else, else have it. And uh, yeah, but this is a talk for another video. So this is the honey spot before the break, okay? And again, it's about to happen. Either up or down, we don't have it, any evidence for downside, but it's looking almost there, almost ready. And if we do look here again on volatility, it's close to the bottom, which means it has to happen and will happen very, very soon. Okay, so folks, 
this is a this is a very important update. Uh, of course, it's a macro picture, so it's it's something that I wouldn't make sense to keep updating every week. So probably the next time I'm going to record the update here, it's uh, after the trial or right after the first leg up, which is going to signal uh, wave number one. Okay, so the, those are going to be the most important evidence that we can observe in data that we collect and study, you know, charts, events, etc. Mix all together to make the uh, best best way to look at, best sense to, uh, to look at the XRP development. Okay, so yeah, things are looking good and I do hope we are right. Okay, so uh, guys, the, uh, this is it for now. I would like to thank you all of you guys. Thanks for patience. Thanks for your time. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all the kind of messages. You guys are amazing. Uh, next week, I will start part of my treatment at home. So I will probably have more time to look at things, you know, to follow the charts and even to record more videos. Okay. Uh, I don't know how long it is going to last. Probably two weeks, maybe one month. And... Uh, yeah, so it is going to be cool. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys have a blessed week, that you stay close with your loved ones, your friends, the neighbors. And don't forget to smash the like button, share with your family, your friends, you know, your enemies, the cat, the neighbor, the dog, the birds, the turtles, everybody. Okay, thanks again. And I will see you guys soon and see ya.